Greetings, citizens of the verse. Salvage is one of the newest and most profitable gameplay loops recently added to Star Citizen, and is a great way for anyone from new players to experienced ones to make some serious cash. Salvage in its current state is divided into two parts, hull stripping and component salvage. Hull stripping is exactly what it sounds like, stripping the whole material off the ship using extraction beams. Component salvage involves using tractor beams to remove various components from wrecks to either upgrade your own ship or sell them for profit. There are currently two salvage ships available, the Drake Vulture and the Aegis Reclaimer. The Vulture can be run by a single person, but it has a very small cargo hold, and it can take a while to scrape larger ships. In contrast, the Reclaimer has an enormous cargo hold and can salvage large ships extremely fast. However, it takes a crew of at least three to four people to run it effectively. Make sure you pick the right ship for your needs. In the Vulture, pressing the M key will activate salvage mode, while the Reclaimer has dedicated turrets for this. Left click will activate or deactivate the active beam, and right click either swaps scraper modes in the Vulture, or to a tractor beam in the Reclaimer, used to move and rotate smaller ships and components. Hold R to rotate your target with your mouse, and use the left alt plus your scroll wheel to pull and push. Once full, the salvage terminal will spit out a one SCU box. You'll need to extract and stack that box securely on the cargo grid with a tractor beam. If you forgot to bring one, you can always use the salvage terminal to craft a new one. Use your Moby Glass to search for available salvage missions. These often offer specific objectives and lucrative rewards for successful completion. They can range from low risk to high risk, with the rewards scaling with the risk. Some missions may even involve dealing with hostile elements in the verse, so plan appropriately. Not only do the higher risk missions give completion rewards, but some may even provide the opportunity to loot contraband cargo from the ships you find, making them a very lucrative way to run the salvage gameplay loop. Don't shy away from teaming up with other players for salvage missions either. Cooperative salvage can not only be more efficient, but also more enjoyable. Coordinate tasks, one player strips the hull, while another collects valuable cargo and components from the ships. Sometimes it's even helpful to bring along a heavily armed escort for your own safety, a medical ship to help with sustenance, or a larger cargo ship to hold more salvage. Here's a couple quick tips to make the most of your salvage operations. Part of having a successful salvage run is making sure you bring along the right gear as you get the job done. I highly recommend bringing personal armor as well as a weapon, in case things get shooty. I also suggest having some snacks and water, as salvaging is time consuming and can end poorly if you find yourself without adequate sustenance. Picking the right salvage targets is also a skill you want to learn. Larger ships will provide bigger rewards, but also require much more time to complete. And there you have it fellow citizens, a quick and dirty guide to mastering salvage gameplay in Star Citizen. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more Star Citizen guides.